Uh, despite all of our talk about genes and DNA, which they didn't know about, we still, as Americans, believe strongly, I think, in that Jeffersonian belief that environments are crucial. Well, Adams wouldn't have any of it. He said, all men are created unequal. And he says to Jefferson, I was in a foundling hospital in Paris, babies four days old, and I could see they were all unequal. Some were beautiful, and some were ugly, some were smart, <laughs> and some were stupid. At four days, he said, and that remains the same. Education can do very little to change that. That's not an American view. And that separates them more than anything. Adams believed in nature, not nurture. And that is not uh, what uh, Americans want to believe or can believe. Uh, and he denied that America was exceptional. He said, we are just as corrupt, just as sinful, just as vicious as every other nation. There's no special providence for the United States, Adams says. Uh, Jefferson says, no, we are a chosen country, and we have a special responsibility to bring democracy or republicanism to the rest of the world. They really divide on that, and they divided on everything else, too. Jefferson was not much for religion. He, he had no religious sensibility to speak of. Adams did, although they're both Unitarians in their beliefs. Adams had a respect for religion that... Um, that I don't think Jefferson uh, had. So they differ on almost every single thing except the rightness of the American Revolution and their hatred of Hamilton. Mm -hmm. <laughs>